All right. All right, well, this is Mr. Buck. I'm here to explain the uh, Civil War musket to you. This is an 1853 Enfield, made in England, supplier of most of the Confederacy. So this was uh, used uh, in a, a large group of men, all firing at the same time, and people wonder why they do that. I'm gonna explain that in just a second. Let me show you how to load this thing. You take out a paper cartridge from your cartridge box, you pour the bullet and the paper, sorry, the bullet and the powder, down the ramp, down the uh, the barrel, and then you pull out the ramrod, and you pack it in, and then you replace the ramrod. All while people are shooting at you, that's got to be crazy. Pull up the gun, go to half cock, pull out a cap, which is in your cap pouch. A good soldier could do this in three times a minute. I'm not that good. Find your art, your target. Ready, aim, fire. Woohoo! Well, that was pretty cool. Spray and pray, well, the idea is that they didn't think these guns were very accurate. So they put all the soldiers together, shoulder to shoulder, to fire as many rounds as possible down range to hit something. Well, that's why this gun went out of style and this gun came into style. This is the AR. A hundred years later, this is what the soldiers were using in places like Vietnam. And ever since then, it's been the standard weapon and it's ready to go. Spray and pray a little different. Rocking and rolling in the 21st century with a gun from the 20th century. And this is, hasn't been improved on that much in a few years, but this is the spray and pray of the modern age. Thanks for watching. Mr. Buck saying goodbye.